So again, get the correct size Allen key and take it off. I believe this is the yeah this is the three thirty second Allen key for the grip frame screws. Also for the gear drive screws that screw into the grip frame. Um, like I said before, I will get a full list of screw threads and o-ring sizes and I will have that listed up in either at some point in the videos. So now this half of the grip frame just lifts off. Um, there's nothing else to do it. Signed by Bob Long. That's very nice. Um, tape to hold on the screen. I don't know why he did that. That's just what Nick did. So we'll set this aside. And as you can see, we have the this is where you can get to the trigger, the, the grip frame screws, and of course all your board and wiring. So the next thing we'll do is we will take out the battery. Because it's best not to go messing around with the board and things. The battery in it. Now the best way to take out the battery is you take your Allen key, stick it in between the battery and the connector, and then just pop them off. It's easier. You don't want to pull on the wires. You pull the wiring out, and you will have to buy a new harness. So we'll set that aside. Now it, you can do it pretty much this, pretty much, pretty much any way order you want. We, I will start by taking off the uh, trigger guard and trigger. So we'll go ahead and take out these screws. Set that aside. Uh, same Allen key for the trigger. Uh, pivot screw. Now, the screw's on pretty tight. Loosen that. Now this screw, by itself, if you have to buy it, is from Crankwalk. Crankwalk, if you buy it from him, buy it from Crank. Well, I can't talk right now. This is going to be fun. Is I think like $4, so you don't want to lose this screw because it's kind of hard to find. I've looked before for other projects shut the trigger to the side and it's just it's hard let's see if we can focus on it, hard to find that screw so we'll set that to the side now there are two screws holding in the board you know, we'll go ahead and zoom in so we can focus on the board turn it that way that way it's kind of easy to see now you have an Allen, an Allen head screw here, and then you have a Phillips head screw here over the micro switch. So we'll get the right size Allen key, which is very important. You don't want to strip the heads of any of the screws in the gun. And put it on. Using these. And now these screws are very small and easy to lose, so you want to make sure you put them someplace that you're not going to like knock a dish over and knock them onto the floor because you'll never find them. Now, there we go. Just like Allen keys, it's very important to have the correct screwdriver. Now, what you can do is zoom back out. Is you can just lift the board out a little. Now you have to be careful. This one doesn't have eyes in it. If it did have eyes, you'd have to stop here, pull out the eyes. But since we don't, we can just flip this over, take off the membrane pad. Membrane pad. Um, you can see the connection for the solenoid. So just grab the connectors. It's always very good to grab the Molex connector. You do not want to grab the wires. If you tug on the wires too hard, you will pull them out and then you've wrecked your harness. There's the board. Same thing, the screw, you do not want to lose. The screw is a pain to find when you drop it. Set that over there. Same thing for this harness. This is the main wiring harness for the Gen 3 and 4 boards. Pull it out by the connector, not the wires. We'll set this aside. 
and for the membrane pad, let's get back up in the camera, how about that? The membrane pad, you just want to, you don't want to just pull it out, there's two little locks on the side, you pull those out, and then the membrane pad comes right out. And set that aside, and we will set the board aside. Now we will, yeah, figure out how to talk in a minute, we'll see what we can do. 13 minutes so far. Wow, I'm going to have a lot of editing. Okay, then. Now that we have the board and everything out, the only thing that's left in the gun is the ram sleeve, the ram, and the solenoid. Now, the, the next thing you have to do is we have to take the grip frame off of the body. So, again, we'll get the correct size Allen key. This one is a 1 8 Allen key. And we'll just open the back screw. Loosen. And we'll come and loosen up the front one. And you will take them out. You want to make sure you hold the grip frame on when you're loosening these. Otherwise, you don't want your the grip frame will just fall and then you can ding it and scratch it up. So we'll set these screws aside with the other ones. We'll come around. Do the back one. And now your grip frame is free. Unlike a 2K2, Timmy, the solenoid does not screw into the grip frame. So we can just pull it out. The solenoid actually has a little housing, a little bracket that it sits on. Um, we'll, get back, we'll get to that when we go to put this back together. So we'll set this aside with the other half of the grip frame. Now, the solenoid. The easiest way to bust a barb besides over tightening them is trying to pull the hose off with a pair of pliers. People all the time you see them. We'll zoom in here. All the time you'll see them. They'll grab the barb instead of the hose. When they go to pull it out, they'll bust the barb. But these are just brass. These ones are nickel plated brass. These are high flows. Um, so the easiest way to do it is we'll zoom back out. Is we'll start with the ram sleeve. You grab the hose and just pull. 